-hmm. You ever seen the movie Apollo 13? Yeah. When they had to use the gravitational pull around the move to slingshot themselves back towards the Earth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they can't, what your hands are doing is your hands mm -hmm. are cutting through the moon. <laughs> you, you, know, you follow that? Hey ET family, I'm Ian, the head pro here at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate players just like you. In this series of coaching videos, we've been working with our VIP student named Simi, who flew out to work with us from Dallas, Texas to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down his backhand. Sibby's backswing has been holding him back from being able to use his energy efficiently, and as a result, blocking himself from being able to reach the next level. Be sure to stay locked into this lesson because at the end, I'm gonna show you where you can get your own backhand action plan so that you can follow our coaching and make improvements from home. For now, let's dive right into my assessment of Sibby's Illuminati backhand. Your backhand actually has three different <laughs> planes of, of movement, and this is why. Mm -hmm. It's just not a confident shot for you. Like it's the timing of, yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So we, ha our first initial mm -hmm. plane of mm -hmm. movement mm -hmm. is to bring the racket head mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. uh, yep. up into your left. Mm -hmm. Plane number two is mm -hmm. is a has like a left hand turn mm -hmm. straight down into mm -hmm. your drop. So this would be fine if mm -hmm. it was a if it was a smooth like gradual thing. But you have like a movement here to a movement here and then mm -hmm. you make another turn mm -hmm. and go forwards. Okay, this is... So there's movement one, one. movement two, Down. Okay. movement and three. Up. And so when you play this in full speed... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can see that. So it's like, yeah. it, you mm -hmm. see how it's like kind of jarring and, yeah. and there's like sharp edges to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's one... So yes, yeah, it's, it's one, two, mm -hmm. uh, three. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna we're gonna uh -huh. make this one fluid movement yeah. on your current backhand swing. Mm -hmm. This movement mm -hmm. is really meaningless. Mm -hmm. It's not actually contributing to your actual hit. Mm -hmm. This movement mm -hmm. is also meaningless. It's not contributing to your hit mm -hmm. because you're going uh, from here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then down to here mm -hmm. and then going forwards. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as the racket goes from this top part to the bottom part. Mm -hmm you are stopping momentum and then having to start it again. Mm -hmm. So when done correctly, the reverse C uh, backswing smoothly builds energy towards contact. But the way you're doing it, there's like phase one, phase two, and then from a static position, you're trying to hit the ball. The triangle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to make a pyramid here. So now mm -hmm. in contrast mm -hmm. to that, mm -hmm. here is a, a Brian backhand. And I want you to trace with your eyes mm -hmm. the tip of the racket mm -hmm. as he moves through this swing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. so there are no angles. Mm -hmm. The tip of the racket mm -hmm. uh, traces a circle around and then up towards the ball. Mm -hmm. Just like what we were doing on your mm -hmm. forehand side. Mm -hmm. And you'll also notice that right mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. his chest is starting to turn forwards. It's not the mm -hmm. same as on a forehand because both hands are connected to the racket. Mm -hmm. So we can't get to, to this position anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh because the other hand is on the, the other side of our body is connected. Mm -hmm. So we're not, we're not gonna get to that same mm -hmm. position, yeah. but there is still lag mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. the tip of his racket mm -hmm. pointing down and towards the court while mm -hmm. his body is rotating mm -hmm. forwards. Mm -hmm. So it's the same principles, mm -hmm. it just is applied a little bit differently because both sides of the body are connected to the racket. So in full motion, mm -hmm. The end result is much more fluid and smooth, mm -hmm. and he's create, able to create much more effortless uh, power compared to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. 
Sibby's triangular backswing was holding him back from becoming the player that he knew he could be. The coaching progressions you're about to see focus on turning his linear swing into a circular one. Along the way, Ira jumped in and used one of the best tennis analogies I've ever heard. You'll find out what that was in just a second. What we'd like to mm -hmm. be different from this mm -hmm. is have the, the first move with the hands be to come up slightly instead mm -hmm. of down slightly. Or it. actually, you're kind of coming straight back. Mm -hmm. you ever, I am. You ever seen mm -hmm. the, the, this is a silly way to think about mm -hmm. bear with me for just 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You ever seen the movie Apollo 13? Yeah. When they had to use the gravitational pull around the move to slingshot themselves <laughs> back towards the earth. Mm -hmm. So if they can't, what your hands are doing is your hands mm -hmm. are cutting through the moon. <laughs> you, you, know, you follow that? Yeah. You got to bring your hands up over the moon and down around the uh, side. You know what I mean? Yeah. So go, go up I'm over like, the moon. Yeah. yeah, you're going straight back through. You're uh -huh. like cutting off the, the top half of the uh -huh. moon. You gotta go up around the moon and then down. Bear with me. That, that was about the best analogy I've ever heard <laughs> on a tennis court. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, so what we're, looking to, what we're looking to do here is yeah. give yourself the ability to build momentum and acceleration throughout your swing. Yeah. Instead of, your swing before was segmented into three yeah. parts. And so there was no ability to smoothly build mm -hmm. acceleration. Uh-huh. And now cut the speed in half and make it one one motion. Good. Good. Slow down a little bit more. Nice job. You segmented at that time a little bit. Good. Yes. Okay, check this out, Subi. Mm-hmm. The hands go up initially. Mm -hmm. Is it too high? It's a little bit big, mm -hmm. but that's uh, fine. Like we're just trying to get you on mm -hmm. the right path mm -hmm. to begin with. So uh, if you watch mm -hmm. um, your hands, mm -hmm. what Ira drew before was mm -hmm. was this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. See it? See it? Yeah. You're, you're right now kind of exaggerating the mm -hmm. size of it a bit, but mm -hmm. that's we're not super worried about it mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we just need to get the shape correct first. Mm -hmm. So this is what gives us the, mm -hmm. the flow. Fluidity and everything. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. without, that, without that path, there is no, there is no fluidity. Mm -hmm. That's, this is like as soon as it gets angular like this mm -hmm. is, is when you have to work hard mm -hmm. or not a whole lot of result out mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. It's like starting, stopping, and then restarting. Mm -hmm. Stopping and starting again yeah. is basically what he was doing before. Yeah. You were going starting, stopping, yeah. mm -hmm. adjusting, and then starting and stopping. You know. So there's no, there's no like continuous acceleration. Mm -hmm. So it's slow in the beginning and then... <clears throat> That's it, Sibby. Keep going. Yep. There you go. That's pretty good. So what I'm, I'm just going to toss a couple to you. You're going to let it bounce, come up. And with the same speed of swing and same smoothness, we want to move through and, and make contact. Good. Imagine that basket right, right to the side of you. You got to go around the basket. I like the speed a lot. Yeah. It's a great, <clears throat> great tempo for you to stay aware of what you're doing, mm -hmm. smoothly be able to execute it correctly. Yeah. Oh. So check this out. Mm -hmm. Here's your last uh, two shadow swings. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, just your last one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks nice, huh? Yeah. Nice Even and more. smooth, relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Give yourself a little bit more space on the next one, Sibby, between yourself and the ball. Got your last hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great, continuous mm -hmm. flowing motion here. Mm -hmm. No angles, no mm -hmm. pit stops, no hitches, <laughs> no yeah. evil, no evil. <laughs> <laughs> evil free backhand. Yeah. <laughs> You're exaggerating mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the size of mm -hmm. the circle just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like yeah, yeah. bringing your, your hands up, especially yeah. at that beginning part. Mm -hmm. 
the rest the rest of it is good. Mm -hmm. the, the amount of drop is mm -hmm. appropriate. Mm -hmm. This this part of the circle mm -hmm. is good. We need that mm -hmm. that distance okay. of drop between the bottom of the swing and, and contact point. Mm -hmm. So that part of it is good. Um, mm -hmm. This part of it is high, is exaggerated. High, yeah. yeah, we don't need to bring the hands up mm -hmm. that high. Mm -hmm. uh, but the rest of it is great. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, keep going. Smaller circle. Yep, nice job, nice job. That's pretty nice, Sibby, good. Good fluidity. Nice, good job. I think it was one of your best mm -hmm. ones so far. Mm -hmm. That was nice, yeah. that was good. Mm -hmm. So I would call that totally mm -hmm. Seamless, you know, smooth, relaxed. Maybe mm -hmm. a little, maybe a little yeah, bit of a, of a, of a, you, you can see yeah. it right, right there. Felt it, yeah. You're kind of holding on to it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but that was probably your best maybe one. Maybe because I'm doing it like too fast, too early now. I need to still wait. Looks could like. be. Maybe I'm still experiment. Yeah. Experiment yeah. with that. Yeah. Wait a little longer so that you have to keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So be the only time a teaching pro ever tells you to. <laughs> To wait longer. <laughs> it's all it's all relative. Good, good, nice job. We took a lot of rough edges out of the swing, so uh, now it's it takes much less time to execute. Does that make sense? Yeah. Add ten percent, please. Nice job. Let me show you that last one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is stopped. Man. So I'm, this isn't every swing, but I'm mm -hmm. starting to see a little bit of this sneaking in mm -hmm. where um, yeah. you're, you're initiating the, the swing with a circular path, uh -huh. but then as you get to here, mm -hmm. there's an angular yeah. change. So there's like a setup mm -hmm. and then a yeah, forward yeah. swing in, instead of keeping the, the circle moving all the way through. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So um, here it is again, mm -hmm. watching in full speed. Mm -hmm. You see it? Oh, yeah. You see mm -hmm. it? So it's Didn't even feel circle, anything. circle, circle, mm -hmm. stop, yeah. forwards. Yeah. So it's, it's two directions now instead of three. So that's good, mm -hmm. but we'd really like to see the whole thing uh, smooth out. I think out. I'm waiting for the ball seat too early. That could be. Uh, on I your continue, it's gonna go. On your shadow swings. Mm -hmm. You're making the whole thing circular. So here, you, yeah. you can see how there's a, a smooth, mm -hmm. there's a smooth shape all the way, all the way around mm -hmm. on the shadow swing. Mm -hmm. But then on the, mm. oops. So it's uh, all about crap. more like timing for me. It's like so. I think it's it's sure. more so you're you're just going back to your right, your old yeah. habit, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And you're even like taking the racket back, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Here, mm -hmm. you're you're like wagging the racket back so that you can then go forward yeah. uh, towards the ball uh -huh. instead of keeping the circular uh, movement going. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily that this is a bad position, mm -hmm. but I, I'm just simply pointing out that there's two different Stopped, yeah. you know, there's two different directions of swing. That's all. Mm -hmm. This is actually not a, not a bad position uh, to be in with uh, with your racket, mm -hmm. but the fact that you're coming this way first and then laying it back there mm -hmm. is more the problem. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize this. It's hard to oh, tell. That's why, one, right? that's why I'm here. <laughs> and that's why we're doing this so yeah. that you can, so you can see it. Uh, so for the next couple, mm -hmm. uh, keep the, the speed, but I want you to focus on, on the path a little bit more uh, to, to smooth it out. Better, Sibby. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for the ball consciously this time. See? Yeah. Do you, see, do the, do you see the difference? Yeah. That's the one you just hit? Mm-hmm. Compared to, here's the one that you hit uh, a couple shots ago. 
You see, oh, yeah, I can see, see the, the difference in, in smoothness? Even the one I did, I feel a little bit stopness, I mean slowness, but it was not as... That one's much that more one abrupt. Very yes. abrupt, yeah. So here's the one that, that you just hit. Totally different, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's mu much more fluidity to this one. So if you want the same effortless mm -hmm. experience that you're now getting on your forehand side, this uh, is, is super crucial. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that smoothness of swing is, mm -hmm. is really important. All right, let's rally some. All right. Nice job. So you're kind of using two different, you kind of transitioned mm -hmm. halfway into um, taking it back a little earlier and mm -hmm. waiting. Mm -hmm. And that of the two uh -huh. is, is what we're actually ultimately going to be looking for okay. from you. Mm -hmm. uh, the first uh, several here, mm -hmm. you waited with the racket in front of you uh -huh. until it was time. Yeah. And you still made some, some nice swings, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of volatility in doing it that way. Because if your timing is off by just a little bit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you have... Um, all of this from here mm -hmm. to okay. here uh, to have to make up in case yeah. your, your timing is a little bit off. Mm -hmm. And then after probably another two or three or so, mm -hmm. you started taking it back a little bit sooner and waiting at the top. Yeah. That's, that's still total circle mm -hmm. all at once. I think right here is where you start. No, not yet, maybe mm -hmm. on the next one. Yep. So here you start preparing with the racket upwards mm -hmm. And this is the one that we're gonna want to transition towards, mm -hmm. is waiting mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and then and dropping and hitting. Is that still a good C? Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So the preparation with a little bit of a, a unit turn, mm -hmm. uh, hands up, and then down and through mm -hmm. is, uh, is what we wanna see. Okay. Nice, Sibby. Nice job. Good shape. Nice job. Nice, Sibby. Now that Sibby's backhand is more smooth, flowing, and efficient, he has the ability to reach his full potential, and today you have that same opportunity. It's our goal to support your tennis in any way possible, and we want you to have access to quality coaching so you can improve at home. And that improvement all starts with having a plan. Get instant access to our special backhand action plan PDF by clicking the link in the description down below or by going to www.backhandactionplan.com. All you have to do is let us know where to send it and you'll know exactly what to do the next time that you practice to get results like Sibby. Lastly, do me a favor and after you get your action plan, come back to this video and leave a comment letting me know how your results are coming along. If this video and the action plan were helpful to you, then please give this video a like. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our Essential Tennis YouTube channel. We've got tons and tons of new coaching coming out soon, and I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming lessons. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.